Okay, today we'll be opening up a couple of Fleet Guard oil filters. The synthetic media version, number LF3487, and the cellulose media version, number LF3313. And I got these oil filters for free. Yup, a generous viewer who works in the heavy-duty trucking industry from Nashville, Tennessee, sent me these oil filters. Thank you. I've been pricing these filters online, and the cellulose 3313 version is about half the cost of the synthetic 3487 version. Let's open these filters up and see what makes them so different price rise. So let's get started. This is a network. You gotta glue the silicone, be nice and tight, get your end of here, filtration. Okay, these two filters look identical on the outside. So I'm going to just start with one of these. Take a look at it. Look at the date code on this 3487. 222-301-824. Made in Mexico. And if we look over here, it also says made in Mexico. This filter has eight inlet holes. Looks to be a nitro rubber anti-drain back valve. Metal core louvers. Bypass valve down below and nitro rubber gasket, which comes off pretty easy. And it's got about four grooves for threads. Yeah. And this one's the same thing. This one looks exactly the same. Just got to, we'll check out the date code on this one. And the date code is 22160182. Also says made in Mexico. So I have a feeling the only difference between these two filters is going to be the filter media itself. Yeah, let's open these two filters up and see what they look like inside. Be right back. Okay, here they are cut open, but I forgot to mention that both of these filters come wrapped in this plastic. It's sealed. It's airtight. So they, they don't have boxes. They just come in this plastic. So I thought I'd mention that. Okay, let's start with the 3487. 3487 weighs... 571 grams. The 3313 weighs 463 grams. And let's weigh one of the base plates because they're both identical. 176.4 grams. And I'll show you right here the stamp on them. 9719. This one's stamped the same. 9719. You can tell by looking at them, they're identical. There and same. Yeah, you can see both the same. Both nice base plates. And the gaskets. Identical gaskets. Same markings. And anti drain back valves also. Identical. Nitro rubber anti drain back valves. And they fit over the holes nicely. Okay, now the filter elements, they're totally different. 3487 weighs 261.6 grams. 3313 weighs 159.3 grams. Now let's look at the uh, 3487. It's got a metal crimp seam. I counted 50 pleats. This has a micron rating of 100% at 30 microns. And it's a synthetic filter media. And I'm getting all this information on uh, the CumminsFiltration.com website. Metal end caps. Bypass valve down here, which has a setting of 10 PSI. Feels pretty heavy duty. Nice deep pleats. There's going to be a lot of filter media here. Yeah, it's pretty clean also. Nicely spaced. Nicely spaced pleats. And it's got a stamp right here. 420. Okay, let's look at the 3313. Also got a metal crimp seam. The filter media, you can tell, is totally different. Because it's a cellulose filter media. And this has a micron rating of 68% at 30 microns. And I counted 55 pleats. 
metal end caps. Also, same bypass valve setting. And it's also stamped right here. 420. So it's the same, same end caps as the other filter. Okay, and they, they both have coil springs. We'll take a look at the 3313. 3313 has one of these little plastic things in it. This is plastic. It was in there just like this. Kind of straight. I've never seen something like that. And the 3487 just came with the coil spring. They're both the same coil springs, too. No, same thing. The cans, the cans are the same too. I see if they weigh the same. One, one hundred seven point nine grams. One hundred eight point four grams. I don't know why there's a difference, but let's get their thicknesses anyways. I was getting point four four, I believe, for this one. Yeah, point four four millimeters thick. And this one I was getting 0 0.42. 0 0.42 millimeters thick. I don't know why. It's just, it's slightly slightly thinner, but they, they feel the same. And the filter medias, let's get there. They should be the same width, but they're not. 3.66 inches wide for the 3487. Three point five five inches wide for the thirty three thirteen, and you can see by looking at them, one's a little bit taller than the other one. The thirty four eighty seven is a little bit taller, just slightly, not much. Okay, let me cut them open, stretch them out, and see what they look like. Be right back. Okay, and they both go over my table. The thirty four eighty seven is. 75 inches long and the 3313 is 79 and a half inches long a lot of filter media okay and let's get the thickness on these guys we'll start with the C for cellulose and this is the 3313. It's 0.88 millimeters thick. And the synthetic is the 3487, which is 0.63 millimeters thick. We'll look at these guys up close. And the 3487 has this, it's like, I'm going to call it a scrim. It's like a scrim backing on the filter media. And I measured it all together because that's the way it comes. Uh, but let's look at these guys under a microscope. So yeah, the cellulose is actually thicker. But um, let's look at these guys individually. See, the 3487 has this kind of scrim. Actually, it's pretty strong, too. It's not very thick, though, but this is supposed to be synthetic, synthetic fiber. And you can tell it rips very easily, and it's metal-backed. So we've got this backing on it, and it bends, and it stays bent. It's not like a springy backing, but metal screen backing. There's a lot of it. See it all here, quite a bit of it. And the 3313 cellulose filter media, which doesn't have as good of a micron rating. So, so if you're looking at the micron ratings, the 3487 seems like the better filter. And these metal crimps, these are these are heavy duty. I mean, I bent these with uh, pliers. This one ain't as, ain't as, ain't as good. It's crimped, but it's crimped really good. See the crimp marks on there? I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's crimped very well. 
This thing is thick. So let's look at the rest of the filter. And like I thought, everything's the same on these filters except for the filter media. It's, they're identical every other way. So both of these filters fit the same vehicles. I would say, uh, you know, this is your premium and this is your economy. They both got nice louvers there. You can see the slits in them nicely opened up. Bypass valves down below. Yeah, they're identical. Look good. Well, all well made. This is this is really well made. Yeah, heavy duty stuff. So what do you guys think about these filters? And again, I want to thank the viewer from Nashville, Tennessee, who sent me these oil filters. And I think I'll wrap this video up. And don't forget, Oil Filter Fridays. I open up a new automotive oil filter every Friday on this YouTube channel. So if you like this video, please hit that like button. Thanks for watching, and take care. The filter media for the 3487 weighs 32.9 grams. The filter media for the 3313 weighs 41.9 grams.